brothers and sisters of melanin. It's Brother Wisdom here. Well, as you can see the sky behind me is completely white. All right, why is it this way? I want to talk to you guys about the science behind these caucasoids. Okay, what we're looking at in the air is aluminum. Okay, if there was sunlight in the air, if there was a constant flow of sunlight in the air, the air would be negatively charged. But because of the um, aluminum bactrium, iodine, these different uh, chemicals that they use, the air has a positive charge, okay? So you understand this. Aluminum, bactrium, or these other uh, uh, metals that they use are intentionally and systematically used to make certain areas of our planet positively charged. Positive charges need uh, cool or cold climates in order for them to be completely active. Okay, so what we see here in the air is lots of aluminum. I mean, it's the multiple masses of aluminum because aluminum has got the highest positive charge. It's got 13 uh, positive atoms. All right, now if it was negatively charged, it would have 13 negative atoms, but because aluminum is um, a positive charged metal, they use aluminum. Also, they use iodine, which is positively charged. They use mercury, which is positively charged. Okay, this is why we're not supposed to have mercury, uh, large sums of mercury in our body, because it changes the molecular structure of our body. Their bodies are made of silicone. Okay, and sulfur. With silicone and sulfur are positively charged. Our bodies, which are made of uh, copper, gold, alkaline, all right, these all have negative charges to them. So you have to understand or understand what is being done here, all right? They are purposely, purposely changing the molecular structure of our planet to make our planet or certain areas of our planet to have a positive charge in order for their people to uh, live or which call thrive on our planet. All right, so uh, we must understand the, the whole concept of chemtrails or what you would call the, what's going on brother? Right. Right. What you would call the uh, altering of the molecular structure of our planetary body by spraying these chemicals in the air in order to change or alter the ionic uh, charges of the planet. This is the reason why. Now, the sun gives off a positive charge. All right, the sun gives off a positive magnetic charge. And because these caucasoids bodies are positive, the sun, positive star charge of the sun repels the positive charge of their bodies. That's why they can't take the sun. You know, some of them can take the sun to a certain extent, but long term, no. We can stay in the sun for 24 hours and we good. They at the max, at the max can be four to five hours in the sun. Then they gotta take a break. Let the body cool off. Then they gotta get back out there again. Okay, so uh, the whole concept of hiding the sun and creating this winter season, because like I said before, this time of year, our sun has a new energy and it's given off the most effective positive energy. All right, so um, as our sun gives off this positive magnetic energy, the negative magnetic energy of our body absorbs it, okay? We are re a reflection of the sun, just a different polarity. The sun has a positive, we have a negative, all right? 
opposites attract. Like charges repel each other. Now, here's how we are transformers. When we go into meditation under the moon, our body automatically changes the polarity and our body will change from negative, from a negative ionic uh, uh, charge to a positive ionic charge so that we can pull in the negative charge of the moon. The moon has a high negative charge. You remember, like charges repel each other. That's why we and our planet, our planet has a negative charge. So since our planet has a negative charge, we have a sun that has a positive charge that keeps that negative charge powerful, which means that it becomes all supreme. Okay? So when we go on, so under the moon, the polarity of our body automatically changes to positive so that we can go into meditation and we can pull in the negative charges of the moon when the sun is not there to give us the positive charge, which means the sun builds up the negative charge in us and the moon builds up the positive charge in us. Okay, you see, now these coccozoids, they will go under the moon because the moon feeds their body. Okay? But they are under the moon only for a certain extent because they can't take too much energy. Spontaneous combustion. Remember that. So, it's important that we understand the polarities of life, the science, the polarities. This is why they have to spray the sky. They made it a, they made it a motion for them to spray the sky with heavy, heavy, heavily with aluminum so that uh, so that they can change the effects of the atmosphere and make the atmosphere positive all right make the atmosphere positive it's like a positive negative false positive which which becomes negative for them so that they can uh, so that they can um, create that uh, false that 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 fake weather, so that they can thrive and survive on our planet. But you see, when it's cold outside, they uh really uh take a take a certain take it way to the heights when it's cold outside. So I want to give thanks to brother uh brother on YouTube uh hieroglyphics communication for enlightening me on this because this is something powerful. All power to the people of Melanin. Peace, brothers, sisters.